Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make some seaweed bottle guard fish soup. So what I did the fish, I fried it. Okay. Then I have a seaweed, dry seaweed. And these are my other ingredients. I have white onions, I have garlic, lemongrass, ginger, of course tomatoes and um, green onions and battle guards. So I'm gonna remove this and let's begin the cooking. Okay, turn it all. Okay guys, so first thing first, I am going to drop the garlic, ginger, okay. Left that, and then the white onions, and we're gonna saute this. Okay, we're gonna saute this for a minute. Then we will add the tomatoes. Then we're gonna add the bottle guard right there. So the bottle guard, the bottle guard guys, I put this in a freezer. This was um, harvest in my from my garden. Okay. So yeah, still frozen a little bit, but we're gonna add some water. Okay. So I harvest, I have so much of bottle guard I harvest this summer. And then I chop it, peel it, and chop it, and put in a freezer. Just throw in a freezer. Okay. So next we're going to add some water. Okay. Just like that. And then we'll add the lemongrass. Okay. Just like that. Okay, guys. Then we're going to... We're going to cover this and we'll allow it to boil, okay? So I'm gonna put this high temp. So it's not boiling yet, guys. So I'm gonna add some um, salt, okay? Okay. We're gonna stir it. Okay. We're gonna allow this to boil. And then we'll add some other ingredients that we're gonna add to our soup, okay? So in this recipe, guys, it's take for 30 minutes to cook, or less than 30 minutes actually, because the fish, we fried it. And so the seaweed and the rest of the ingredients is cooked probably a minute. But the only thing that take a little bit longer, it's the bottle guard. You know, make sure the bottle guard is tender, um, not completely tender, like maybe, soft a little bit soft because what happened is um when you are warming your soup the, for the next day they overcook the bottle guard okay so this is what the part that's kind of a little bit longer to cook um i fried my fish outside because i don't want fish smelling in, inside my house so we're gonna wait until they boiled and then take care of the rest I like lemongrass to put in my soup um, if you're cooking some fish or meat soup. I just love lemongrass. And by the way, guys, this is also from my garden. And I harvest the, the leaves and then wash it and roll it and put in my freezer. So when I'm cooking some soup, I have available lemongrass. Okay. So next we're going to do, guys, is we're going to put the fish. Okay. 
They're still boiling, so we're gonna put the fish. I wanna put like in the middle or like on the bottom in the fish head. Probably you guys gross out the fish head, but we love fish head. Just want to tell you. Okay. You start boiling. Okay. So continue boiling this until the battle guard is tender. Then we will put the rest of the ingredients. Okay. Just slowing boiling, guys. I want to put my fish in the bottom, though. This fish is, or this soup, guy is really, really good if you like fish. The secret of making perfect, delicious uh, fish soup is to fry your fish first, because your soup will not gonna smell like fishy. Okay. So if you fried your fish first before making the soup, it doesn't smell like fish. I'll tell you, I promise. Try it. So we're going to cover one more time. 